almost the 2020 tax filing season. Now, there's a lot of hype right now around building your own tax business or becoming a tax professional, but in order to do so, there's gonna be one really important formula that you should know. That's gonna be the income tax formula. To become the best tax professional that you could possibly be, you have to understand how taxes work within a whole and how that applies to the everyday person and the income that they make. Now, if you don't want to be a tax professional, but you file your own taxes on TurboTax, this information is going to be just as useful to you as well. If you are looking to start your own tax business, our partners over at Tax Pro on the Go can definitely get help get you set up and your tax business up and running and profitable in no time. So, as we talk about this income tax formula, it's going to be very important for you to understand how the income tax law or income tax code actually works, right? So let's get started. So our income tax formula is going to start with our total income. Where does that total income come from? That's going to come from anything W-2s, 1099s, anything like that from whatever your job is, whether you are a uh, nine to five employee or an independent contractor. So the formula is gonna start with the total amount of income. Then it's going to be minus any adjustments you have to that income. This is the income tax formula. It's gonna be your total income minus any adjustments to that income uh, an example of an adjustment would be student loan interest. That's going to equal what your adjusted gross income is. For those of you that are self-filers and file on TurboTax, you'll notice that every year TurboTax asks you to put in your AGI for the previous year. The reason they want to put in your AGI for the previous year is they want to compare it to your current year and they also want to use it as a form to validate your identity. So your total income minus the adjustments of your income is going to equal your adjusted gross income. Now we haven't got down to whether you have a tax refund or a tax balance yet, but we're going to get there in just a second. So we have total income minus adjusted minus adjustments to your income is going to equal your adjusted gross income. What do you think comes next? Deductions. So your adjusted gross income is going to minus whatever is greater. This is going to be either your standard deduction, which the government gives everyone, or if you're somebody who itemizes, meaning you add additional deductions to your income, like real estate taxes, medical expenses, or anything that qualifies after Trump, after Trump changed the GOP tax plan, um, anything that qualifies for your itemized deductions, what you're going to do is subtract that from your adjusted gross income. So after you get your AGI, let's put AGI right here in big words, from your AGI, we're going to subtract whichever is greater, either your standard deduction, which the government already gives you, or your itemized deduction, if you're going to itemize deductions. After you, after you subtract your itemized deductions, you're going to equal to your taxable income. Now, pay attention, this is very important. Everybody, every year when they come to file their taxes here at Straight Tax, ask us, hey, which tax filing rate do I land in? What's my tax rate? What, how, mu how much am I paying? What's my percentage of tax rate that I'm paying on my total income? Most people have the misconception that that tax rate is going to come from their total income, and that is wrong, very wrong. Your taxable income is going to be, your tax rate is going to come from what your taxable income is. So, your taxable income, how you'll get that number if you wanted to calculate it or on the 1040, do your calculations directly, 
For those of you that don't know what a 1040 is, it is our tax form, which we file every year. So what we would have to do to determine what our tax rate is, is figure out what our taxable income is. Once we know what our taxable income is, then we'll be able to apply the correct tax rate. So right here on our taxable income, I'm going to put next to the star tax rate because that is going to apply. This means that somebody at $70,000 is not going to have the same standard deduction as single as they will head of household. So their tax rate, although to those two different individuals have the same amount of income, their tax rate is going to be different. Why? Because they both have different standard deductions. So let's go into that. So now that we figured out what the taxable income is, then we know where they land on that tax rate chart and we're able to apply that tax rate. Remember, the tax software, our tax pro on the go tax software, already does the calculations for you, but this is very important as a tax professional for you to understand how taxes work overall as a whole. So once we get that taxable income, that's how we're able to figure out what our tax rate is so once we figure out what our tax rate is, then that'll give us what? Once we times it by our tax rate, that'll give us the amount of taxes owed. Now this amount of taxes owed is going to be before any tax credits are applied. Because we didn't get to credits yet. So. Once we get to our taxable income, the, the software is going to do our calculations for us automatically. So it'll give us, it'll multiply the taxable income times your tax rate, and that's going to equal the amount of taxes you now owe on that income. Once we get past the, what the taxes are owed, what do you think comes next? A majority of us get credits, right? We get the earned income credit, child tax credit, child dependent care credit. Um, that's what's going to go next. Once we see what our taxes owed is, we're going to subtract any tax credits that may apply to us. So once we subtract any tax credits that may apply for us, whatever those credits may be, earned income credit, child tax credit, dependent care credit, American opportunity credit, any one of these credits that apply to you, now that's going to, once we subtract the tax credits that apply, what's going to happen next? The next thing, whatever that equals to, right? We wanna also subtract already the taxes that we've paid. For those that are W-2 earners, you probably pay taxes within every paycheck or pay stub that you've gotten throughout the year. So this is where the taxes that you paid would come out from after, this is where the tax that you paid would be applied at this point. So once you get your taxable income, we are going to multiply it by the tax rate. Then we're going to subtract any tax credits that may apply. And then we're going to subtract from that any taxes that we may have paid throughout the year. That's going to equal our refund and if we underpay and or I should say if we underpaid our taxes throughout the year then it's going to do what instead of a refund it's going to give us a balance due as a tax professional especially a new tax professional it's really important to understand this lesson for many reasons number one you can't help your clients if you don't understand the tax code Number two, if you don't know what credits are applied or be able to be due to your customers, how can you satisfy them in the best form possible? Number three, right here on deductions, we know that that makes a big difference before we get to our taxable income. So if you don't understand deduction standard or itemized in full length, then you, how would you be able to help your clients minimize their taxable income? Because that's the only thing that we can apply before we get to taxable income, right? makes sense and also if your client as a as a tax professional entry level or experience if your client has a balance due how can you explain to your client why they have a balance due if you don't understand yourself 
Our partners at Tax Pro on the go will help you break all of this down. We also have an income tax training course over at Straight Tax. If you download our mobile application for Straight Tax, you can get access to our courses. We have tons of information and resources on our mobile application. Or if you yourself are already in the tax industry or looking to get into the tax industry and start your own tax business, head over to our partners over at Tax Pro on the go. We have a state-of-the-art software as well as training resources and marketing material to be able to help you build a successful and profitable tax business.